Hello and welcome to my newest video. This is an update to one of our recently updated applications, Train Times. Just load it in a second. That is normal. You will notice that there's a new button up, up, up here called Map. And if nominating by uh, some software is being seen by the file, it allows you to load a mapping of the railway station. I'll demonstrate. Click on the bottom. Bottom. Go and risk my send modes in. And there's a pointer there to the railway station. It also does it on the uh, train routes. I'll do a train route for this one. Go for this one, new map. There's a choice here, so we can then go for the choices of what to go. So and this one here it says railway station, show a map. And there we go. Clicking the website works it used to do the, with the right hand mouse button. Open the website of it. If number two has not been seen, click on the right hand button, any of these but uh, things down here will go straight to the web browser. It also does it on the uh, future date. So we go we set this to Fountain. We'll do it for tomorrow for the uh, when the, the date this recorded for the risk of show and do it for 10, 10 o'clock in the morning click that and clip on the map uh, button as it loads in you don't get a map of the station so you can find whereabouts the station is in relation to where you need to go. It does require WGET and for this bit here to work it does need num tin. I think I said it's pronounced, I've probably messed it up. But a link to where to get that from will be in the description as well as my application on the website and the data comes from Transport Data API. I think that'll be there as well. If you do like my software why not purchase some of my merchandise or to get a link in the description or donate me some money through my Kofi pages. Once again, a link in the description. Thank you, and goodbye, and see you on the next video, whatever that's going to be about.